In general, if you have a chronic medical condition that puts you at higher risk to have severe COVID, you are gonna qualify for the booster. A COVID-19 booster shot is really an additional vaccination that increases your immunity. It's basically the same dose that you got in the first two shots that you had with Pfizer. What we understand is that after many months, after your first or what we call primary vaccination series, your immunity to the virus goes down. So a booster does just that. You get another vaccine and it boosts your level of immunity, or in other words, your protection against COVID-19. Also right now, it's important to know we only have authorization to give boosters for people who had Pfizer as their first two doses and who are six months from their last dose. One of the ways this latest recommendation from the CDC and FDA is different from the prior authorization for a third dose is that that was really about the primary series, saying that certain people who have immunocompromised disease states didn't really, even from their first set of vaccines, mount enough of an immune response, so that they needed three doses just to get baseline immunity. Those doses could be given within 28 days of each other. This is different because what we're saying is that primarily you got very good response to the vaccination and what this is doing is prolonging that response, improving that response, and that you really don't need this boost for probably six months after you had your first series, that your immunity was really good and what we're trying to do is prolong that immunity and boost it up. If you are over 65, if you are over 18 and have a medical complication or a medical disease that puts you at high risk for progression to severe COVID, and or if you are someone who is very exposed to COVID, a healthcare worker, a teacher, someone who works in grocery. Um, it's very similar to when we did the original rollout of vaccines. It is those folks who are the most likely to either be exposed to COVID through their work or who, if exposed to COVID, are likely to progress to severe disease. After several months, your protection against COVID is actually less, and we're seeing that in COVID-19 breakthrough cases. People might ask, how do I know if I qualify? There's a few different places you can go for information, for good information. Always check sort of the CDC websites, the FDA, and then your local New York State Department of Health website is gonna list out very specifically who qualifies, where you can get vaccinated, and what kind of information you should bring to be prepared for that vaccination. It's about the same as the first series. So they've done the studies, especially on patients who got the, the primary series, which was three shots for immunocompromised. And those patients had about the same side effects that they had with their first shots. So things like arm pain were really common, fever, myalgia, but they didn't have it any more than they did the first time around. So really, this is old territory. You've had your first series. You know what happens to you, and you should expect about the same with the booster. Right now, booster shots are not authorized for Moderna or J&J, &J, but like with everything else, we are doing a lot of research, a lot of investigation to understand if it's safe to do that. These decisions about booster shots are taken very seriously um, by the government, by hospitals, by your physicians, by your providers, and the recommendations are based on best evidence. Right now, Pfizer is very safe, the evidence is there, the data is there, and we're just waiting for that same amount of evidence and data on Moderna and J&J. &J. And I'm sure that when we have that, we will move forward.